Hello everyone, in this video we are going to continue with our model and we are going to create a greenhouse here. Uh, so basically we have a wall at the beginning, so I want to go to my wall 3D layer, I want to draw a box from here to this corner, this is going to be 400 and on the other side as well, from here to this corner, 400. Next, I want to create the greenhouse here. I want to add a new layer. This is going to be the greenhouse. This is going to be our active layer. I can change the color. Next, I want to create a polyline going with PL from here to that corner over there. Right click to exit. I want to offset this curve by 50 millimeters uh, going in this direction and uh, next I want to create a line here to close this end uh, and I want to create a line over there I can select these two curves type TR and I can delete these edges ok now I actually need to explode this curve uh, explode this curve as well. I want to select this edge, this edge, and this edge, and move them to here. It's going to make more sense. I want to use extend. I want to extend this corner and this corner. Uh, if you want to make sure everything is correct, you can turn the 3D wall layer off. This seems good. I can select all these curves or lines that I created and I would like to join them so join all good I can turn the wall layer on select this curve and I just want to extrude curve this is going to be as a solid so solid is yes all good it's going to end here so this is the glass part of the greenhouse I want to copy this item using CO, I want to copy that from here all the way to here. Now I can select this solid point on. I can select these points and I want to move them from this corner to here. So this is our greenhouse that looks good. Uh, next I can create the floor so I want to create a new layer this is gonna be floor make it the active layer I want to draw a box going from that corner to that corner negative 300 and that's our floor uh, and I want to create a new layer for the roof And for the roof, you can just have a simple roof, you can use a box. I want actually for one of these uh, bedrooms which open to the north side, I want to have a little bit of uh, sunlight. So I want to create a window here at the top, a skylight. Uh, so here I would like to draw a line. So it's going to be one line from this corner all the way. I need to turn the perpendicular intersection on and it's going to hit there. I need to draw another line uh, on this end and it's going to be vertical. How about I go with like 1500, one and a half meters. Maybe that's too high so I'll go with uh, 1200. This is better and uh, I want to uh, and I want to close this line from this end over there and maybe I can trim this line TR, I'm gonna trim that okay so uh, this is gonna be where we have the roof so I can get this and I can offset that by 200 over there and I can draw a line I can draw a line over there it's gonna be vertical going up here 
and uh, this is good you can keep going for instance here uh, you can use F10 and F10 is going to show you kind of what we have here at the corner and I can grab this and kind of move it align the path that it has to go a little bit further okay and I want to draw another line here so I want to type L I want to extend this and trim on the other side as well I want to extend this line and I want to trim actually I need to draw a line here okay I want to get these lines hold shift select them all and I want to join them I want to extrude that extrude curve all the way to here so this is part of this roof and I want to create a wall in here this line should go to my wall 3d layer this line here should also go to wall 3d layer uh, I can draw another line here so I'm gonna draw a line uh, wall 3d is active I want to draw a line here I want to join these three edges hold shift that one I'll go with join and I want to extrude this and the left side by 300 so it should be negative 300 there we go and I want to copy this part of the wall using CO I'm gonna copy that in here this seems good and I want to use a scale 1d to cover that part so I'm gonna go with scale 1d going from uh, here to here is gonna increase and come over here okay this seems about right uh, I can continue the rest of the roof that I have here so I'm gonna switch to layer roof uh, I'll go with uh, a polyline PL from that corner over there over there over there I'm gonna follow the roof lines Order. okay now I can select this polyline and I want to extrude this curve uh, how about I go with uh, 200 and it's a solid yes so 200 you can make more of these solar windows if you want you can add one over there over the kitchen it's gonna be nice and uh, now for here we need a little bit of a wall so I want to create a box using three points and height from this corner to that corner towards that side is gonna be maybe 200 click once and it's gonna move up by about uh, let's go with 20 or 200 millimeters I'm gonna move this up so from here over there now if I turn the roof on um, this is almost good actually it's still a bit low so the wall that I created seems a bit short so I wanna use a scale 1d to make it a bit longer from here to here this was 200 how about we go with 300 turn the roof layer on this seems better now I can add a little bit of window over there so um, I can go to my window layer I can go with window frame for instance so window frame and uh, now I want to create a window here but I'm gonna need two rectangles first so I'm on the window frame I'm gonna create a rectangle this is gonna be vertical uh, starting from here to this corner to this corner I want to select this rectangle offset that by maybe 50 
millimeters uh, inside. Now I want to select the two curves and I want to make a surface out of that so I can go here and I want to use surface from planner curves so this is now a surface and I can actually extrude this surface on that direction by for instance uh, 50 millimeters so this is gonna be kind of a frame for my window here you can get more detailed and finally I want to go to window panel I want to create a box here how about I go with box with three points so it's gonna start from this edge to that edge to that edge and it's gonna be like about 30 millimeters here so this is how it's gonna look like uh, feel free to turn the other layers off except for the wall 3d and you can actually uh, connect them so I want to make the wall 3d the active layer and I want to turn everything else off uh, feel free to delete these curves that you don't need anymore I want to select everything including the new wall parts that we created I want to go with BU or boolean union uh, again I want to select everything and I want to go with merge all faces actually there we go so now you see this part uh, is kind of connected to the rest of the surfaces over there is the same uh, and so on